Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another review of Alchemy of Souls. Episode 2 was just amazing, fun to watch. We got to see the journey to Naksu being Ook's master. You know, there were some punishments, there were some obstacles that they had to go through, but it's finally done. The story can actually start. And also, there were some surprises. And I'm talking about the leader of the intruder, so... Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get to it. So first, we get a flashback. 20 years ago, Ook's mom passed away and the king inside Jiang Gang's body blocked Ook's energy so he can't use it while he's alive. This is where we know that he needs a master who can help him open the gates to his energy. And that's why he picked Naksu. Now, speaking of Naksu, remember if a person switches bodies, there's a blue marking on them. Apparently, her blue marking is in her eyes, which makes sense to why Mudok can see. Now let's get to the journey of Naksu being Ook's master. So at first, she refused. She didn't want to do it. But after being threatened to be trapped in a secret room, she agreed to it, but only on one condition, her sword. And let's not forget, Ook is helping her too by hiding her identity, which he did twice. The first time was when Choyun, we got to see her, was when she used the Guigu to find out who was a soul shifter in the room. Luckily, there was another one. And the second time he saved her was when the Guigu was still out and about. It chased after Naksu, but then Uk destroyed the heirloom. And also, he got punished on top of every other punishment he had. Um, quick little info. Apparently, Uk and Choyun was once engaged. Now later, Naksu did receive her sword thanks to Uk. But she was too weak to open it, and instead of living as Mudok, she rather died. And she went to the same spot where a lot of the soul shifters, who went crazy, have been buried in the lake. She decided to kill herself by jumping into the lake, and out of nowhere, she was able to pull her sword. But it was only because of the energy in the lake. But then we see Naksu pretty much putting all of her chips into Uk by poisoning him only to make Master Ho and Pak Jin open his gate of energy, which they did. And then Naksu got beaten because of her actions, and they both survived what they went through, and now she is his master. The amount of hell that these two went through just to help each other, well, it's only to get what they want. It's, it's, I wouldn't call it a friendship, and it's obviously not a love-hate relationship, because there's no love into it. Um... It's a strong alliance, you know, that's the perfect way to say it. Uh, but maybe it'll turn into a love-hate relationship once the romance comes in between these two. But first, Naksu has feelings for Yul, so... I'm not saying it's a love triangle because, um... Ul doesn't really have feelings for her. But yeah, we'll see where it goes. Let's not forget the leader of the intruders is Jinmu. Of all people! And he served as Gosun's right-hand man. Talk about playing for both teams. And he was allowed to burn Naksu's body? Now, if Naksu and Mudok switch bodies, that means the actual Mudok is dead. And Naksu can't go back to her own body, which means she's gonna go crazy like all of the other soul shifters? I'm only asking here. So again, this episode was just fun. It was entertaining. The drama, I'm already invested. I love the story. I love the characters. Um, I still don't know what's the main plot because we have so many subplots. I mean, you got Ook trying to find a master, which he did. You got Naksu trying to get back to her body, which she can't anymore because her body is burnt. And another subplot for her to, to get her sword, which she did but she's too weak to open it. And then, of course, Jiang Gang disappearing, and then Jin Mu being the leader of the intruders, and then, you know, the whole the king and Jiang Gang switching bodies, and that little effed up history. Um, if anybody knows what's the main, main plot, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. To be honest, I don't know if there is going to be a romance between Naksu and Uk, because Naksu... Well, it looks like she has feelings for Yul because her and Yul have a history. We know that because of the bird whistle. But then you also had, you know, a little thing between Uk and Choyon where these two used to be engaged. 
Maybe there is some feelings between the two, I don't know. So the romance is still up in the air. Well, for now. And yeah, that's the gist of the episode and my review. Is there anything I might have missed? Please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.